Machines replace human labor, and they've done this for the last 250 years. For how long can this go on before people become so unhappy that they start to break things? And not just machines, but institutions, attack people, organize in large gangs committing systematic acts of violence. That's what we're trying to analyze by going to the early 19th century in England, and we look at an episode called the Swing Riots. The Swing Riots are really the biggest wave of unrest in English history. There's 2,000 attacks in more than 20 counties within a few months, and we've asked how much of this is driven by the adoption of new technology. There's the invention of one particular technology, the threshing machine. A job that would be done by three or four males for most of the winter could now be done in a matter of one or two weeks, causing massive technology-induced unemployment. We try to pin down exactly the effect that this machine has, and the finding is that the effect is staggeringly large. It doubles the probability of unrest if we find any trace of its adoption in one of the 10,000 tiny geographical units that we've analyzed. So there's a couple of things that we find that I think are relevant for today. The first one is outside options. So in areas that are close to the thriving textile centers of Northern England, it is very unlikely that you see unrest even if the machines get adopted. Why? Because people have an outside option. They can just go to the city and get a different job. Where outside options are few, you get a lot of instability and a lot of unrest. The second one is that once things go wrong, the effect lingers for a long time. We actually look at the extent to which people innovate and adopt new technology. And the after effects of the swing riots, you can see in these two measures for a generation. If you want to adopt new technology, you need to find ways to compensate the losers. The underlying mechanisms, the things that make people unhappy, that solve collective action problems and mean that me being unhappy and my friend being unhappy leads us to start to do costly, violent things, those are part of human nature. And we can understand what drives them by looking at history. 